So if you remember me telling you that uh, last year there was an issue with my brand new Garmin Striker uh, depth sounder, fish finder, whatever you want to call it. And uh, after uh, <laughs> lots of fooling around and investigating and discussions, oh, it was learned to be from a uh, viewer, thank you very much, a follower. Oh, I'm falling over. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, somebody suggested to me that uh, my shoot through transducer, um, which is filled with antifreeze, may have evaporated or partially evaporated. So I checked it last year and certainly that was the issue. So I'm going to just pull this apart right now and you and me are going to look because it's operating fine at, at you know, deeper waters, let's say 10 feet or more. It uh, shows the bottom and holds everything really, really well. However, in shallow waters like here at our slip at our marina, not so much. So I am going to pull this out and see what it looks like. Now it's entirely possible because uh, when I topped that up, that was probably uh, July, August last year, which was only, uh, let's say May, June, maybe three months after I installed it. So I was surprised that it had evaporated so much already by that point. So here we are going on almost a year because in real time today is the end of June, 2023. So yeah, look at that. It's not a whole heck of a lot left. So it doesn't take a lot. I think it's only like 2.4 ounces or something of antifreeze that it calls for in there. So I'm just gonna splash a little bit more, put this back in and see what happens. But maybe before I do that, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like right now. I'm just gonna set that in place, not screw it down uh, because it's not going anywhere. Boat's not moving, but I can just fire up the uh, striker and let you see what it looks like. Oh, look at this disheveled helm. I've got everything moved so I could open up the uh, engine hatches. Okay, let's fire this puppy up. Yeah, you see, it's not even, I know, sorry, there's uh, a lot of reflection, but it's not even showing anything right now. It's given the time and the voltage and blah, blah, blah. However, it's not showing any contours. So what are depth contours, bottom contours. So I am going to top that up and then uh, we'll see how that changes. So here we go. I have my cup, my cup runneth over. Now I'm just gonna show you really quick. I just use regular old Prestone antifreeze, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't think this is diluted. No, it's just straight antifreeze. Um, and since I have to just put a little bit in there, I'm not going to attempt to dump it right out of this big uh, one gallon, gallon jug. So I got a better idea. So what I'm going to do, because <laughs> sometimes I'm smarter than I look, I have my antifreeze tester, which is like a squeeze thing. You pull the antifreeze and it'll fill and tell you where you are with the, uh, what is it? Well, I'll show you the freezing point. So I'm just gonna draw a little bit out of this gallon jug. Oops, try not to spill too much. I'm just gonna bloop in there. So as you can see, that overfilled. So I'm just, mm -hmm. so just going to dry a little bit out of here. I'm just going to kind of mop some up just a little bit, just so I can get that back on there without it squirting out. And I think that should be okay. Well, let's put it this way. I'm not going to put any more in then is already in there so just screw this back together and if you want to watch the whole video of me installing this as well as um, the unit itself 
and along with the Garmin chart plotter that I put on this boat and Garmin radar. Uh, check out my full how I did it boat repairs and upgrades videos playlist because I got a long winded video of taking all the old electronics out put the new stuff in including this which I was very happy to learn about this shoot through transducer just a uh, spoiler alert but in that other video I mentioned how I was trying to get um, through Aramar who makes the most of the uh, transducers on the market who originally manufactured the ones in this boat remember this boat's a 1998 model year and I gave him the serial numbers off of these and they said no it's not compatible with the new unit so just through interweb searching I learned about shoot through transducers so I didn't have to drill any holes and the thing works brilliantly brilliantly <laughs> and there's a link in the description of that video to tell you about the product and all that fun stuff so anyways let's go up to the helm again and see what it looks like well I know what the helm looks like but you know what I mean now real quick before I leave here because I'm not going to come back down here with the camera um, why do I have uh, a bigger Phillips screw and a smaller Robertson head screw because the crappy imported screws that came with this unit were so small and the heads knurled off and they were just junk so I put on whatever I had it's 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 secure and it's all on there um, but yeah so that's why there's two different screws okay it works maybe that's why the everything's evaporating no it could be but whatever apart from that it works okay back to the helm and let's see what happens look at that Ta-da! sorry there we go yeah see four and a half feet beautiful and we can see the bottom again ta-da that was a, a super easy fix so note to self to check uh, the antifreeze at the beginning of the season each year and maybe throughout the season I don't know but it works good and I'm really 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 happy with this unit so like I say look in the playlist of how I did it and see me installing this piece of equipment this piece of equipment that piece of equipment and those pieces of equipment down there <laughs> yeah. and reinstalling that piece of equipment 